Yeah, that's right. Right, right outside the Fleet Science Center. And I want to show you guys this crowd out here. Take a look at all of the people that are out here right now uh, viewing the same thing that you are. So many people. People brought their families, uh, their kids, lots of dogs. And we're just minutes away from the climax of all of this, the 55 to 60 percent coverage. So this is a pretty incredible thing to see, you know, just to describe the mood that's been out here. It's kind of been like this party atmosphere. People are very positive. And, you know, here in San Diego, we're just so lucky to have clear skies. Uh, you could feel the excitement really start to build. About 15 minutes ago, people started to look up. They put their glasses on, and to hear their reactions uh, was absolutely incredible. So I want to bring in Becky right now. We just met her a short time ago. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yes, and you have your own Eclipse glasses, right? I do. I have the HD Eclipse glasses, and they were my father's, and I brought them with me. So what have you thought so far? What's what's so the mood been like? It's been great. It's a great crowd. It's nice. I saw it when it first started, and I was telling everybody, look, look, look. <laughs> you know, I was very excited about it. I know. It's incredible that we're all excited to see the same thing, and it's just this little tiny dot, and it looks like a little crescent right now. It is. At first, and even one of the little ones said, it sounds like, it looks like Pac-Man, you know? <laughs> and with Pac-Man, and it looks like... He said a solar sm a solar s uh, smash, and I thought that was fun. Oh, it's coming again. Excuse me. All right, let's look up. Oh yeah. I have my glasses. I just can't so pull them out right now. It is. It's. It goes behind the clouds and then it comes out. But it's grand. It's such a grand adventure to see. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us. And you know that's yeah that's really the thing about it is it's like one thing to see it if you're watching it by yourself I'm sure, but just to give you the sense of all of the people that are here right now, so many people here in San Diego all coming together. You guys, this is just the area near the fountain. There's actually a grass grassy area beyond here where there's even more people watching right now. So just a lot of people all coming together, connecting with nature, kind of connecting with each other. Uh, but for more on this team coverage, let's send it to my colleague, uh, Abby Black, who is live in Chula Vista right now. Abby? You don't want to look down. This is amazing right now, even with the partial eclipse. And I'm telling you, I think I got one of the best seats in the house here in San Diego. We are live here at Thurgood Marshall Elementary School in Chula Vista with some third graders here. We have many kids that are out here watching the partial eclipse. They have their safety glasses on. And if you kind of look over, uh, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this cereal box that I, I made, uh, the view box you can see with the eclipse. So it's really cool all these kids that are able to safely watch the partial eclipse. How awesome is this? Um, it's my first time. What does it look like? It look looks... See, what do you see right now with your glasses on? I see... I, it looks like the moon, like a half moon. Pretty cool, huh? You wonder, what's going on up there? All these stories and maybe folklore of like, is it the wolf eating the sun or something like that? What do you think? Um, I think, um, well, this is actually my first time seeing the, like, the eclipse because I never ever saw the eclipse before. Like, what does it look like now? It kind of looks like, um, here, let me check. It kind of looks like a smiley face, but it's like, it kind of looks like a moon a little, but like it's the sun and and the moon is covering like the sun. That's why it kind of looks like a moon. Uh -huh. What about you? It's an amazing experience. I still can't believe it though it's my first time. I love this experience. It looks like a, like a cheese, but made into like the middle, like a moon, but like a cheese. I know it's really good to use your imagination and you think, what is going on and what does it look like? The, it looks like an, like a moon, but yellow, like the sun. It's actually the sun, but it's an amazing experience to see something like this. I've never seen something this cool that actually I, I have never seen like something covering that's very far away, but something very close to us that can look that amazing. Oh, it is, Olivia. And you even wore your moon shirt today. Yeah. Oh, so fitting. 
I mean, I think we're all kids at heart when we're watching the eclipse, don't you think? I mean, you're looking up and you're wondering what's going on. Like I said, is it the wolf feeding the moon? Does it look like a cheese sandwich? Does it look like Pac-Man? What could it look like? So I think we have the best seat in the house here for the eclipse in Chula Vista here at Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. And we're going to continue to watch this partial eclipse here in Chula Vista in the South Bay. And again, like I said, just being kids at heart, whether it be with third grade classes or all by yourself, you're just going to look up and wonder, ah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool, Abby. I got to say, we were all sitting here saying that that's a future reporter right there because of the way they should. Yeah, let me take another look. Let me get the facts here. Let me get the information. Takes another gander there yes. at the sky. A lot of description there. I like to say it looks like you're uncovering an Oreo, like you're kind of taking good, apart the Oreo and you kind of still have it covered and then eventually you kind of put it back before you take a bite maybe. I don't know, but uh, a lot of good descriptions yeah. being put on right now. So exciting, and they've never seen an eclipse before in their yeah. lifetime. I was so shocked by that. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> it's been yes. seven years since the That's last true. one, so I think they're under under seven, yeah, right? Maybe we have that kindergarten class in there. Yeah. Third good elementary school in Chula Vista. What yeah. great little future scientists yeah. are out there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Abby. Yes. Well, we have a lot.